today is a partly sunny Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. We're at Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And you're looking at the Strasburg 89 260 Mogul sitting outside the roundhouse waiting to do his trips today at 11, 12, 1, and 2, I believe. And this engine has been equipped with a Banshee whistle, which might very well be an old Pennsylvania Railroad freight locomotive whistle. I remember the Long Island Railroad L1s, the 282s used to have them, says my father, who heard them all the time. Pennsylvania used a lot of high-pitched shrill whistles on their smaller freight locomotives. I was hoping the 475 would be running because that has a six-chime whistle on it. But I'll have to settle for the high-pitched shrill whistle today. We'll get a few trips and a few run-bys of this. The 89, that is. This is a former Canadian National steam engine. And the crest on the tender, although it says Strasbourg Railroad, is what a Canadian National emblem crest look like. For a while, this area around the roundhouse was off limits, but they seem to have gotten more lenient about that recently. And they're getting it ready for the runs today. They should be positioning it to put coal in the tender. Here he comes, back on his train. And the whistle on this comes off of an old Pennsylvania Railroad locomotive, I'm told. Whistles and horn collections. He's got a horn collection and whistle collection. The Strasburg 475 six time whistle is an old SP whistle. And that belongs to Gabe, who is of Filipino origin. Oh, here's Gabe. You are a conductor on yes, the Strasburg. I'm a conductor uh, and a full time engineer here at the Strasburg Railroad Company. I've been here for seven years. Oh, wow. So tell me about the whistles that all these locomotives have. <laughs> so right now, 89 behind me is wearing a old Pennsylvania Railroad uh, Banshee whistle, typically found on uh, freight locomotives on the Penzi. Uh, also, locomotives that are not uh, in service for today, such as 475, has a 776 time, and 90, which is down for a rebuild, uh, will have a uh, Reading 6 time. Right. What, what kind of horns do you collect? <laughs> horns that I personally collect, I have a few. I have a Leslie A125, a uh, X Pennsylvania Railroad SU3L, uh, X Conrail RS3, and a uh, Old Norfolk and Western uh, S5T. All right, beautiful horn. <laughs> I'm a fan of the K5 LLA myself. <laughs> Those aren't too bad. <laughs> you know, our Long Island Railroad, we have six of them. Oh, I'm sure. I kill myself trying to get them, but, you know. Up until recently, I heard the Caltrain P2s, which didn't thrill me too much. They're not, they're not the greatest. Well, they're better than what they got now. So, yeah. the little trumpet. <laughs> so. Well, Gabe, thanks a lot, and um, I appreciate your heritage. Yeah, thank you. Well, here we are by the Red Caboose Motel. A little ways east of the Strasburg Railroad Depot. We're going to catch the 89 on a few trips and listen to his banshee whistle from that old Pennsylvania Railroad steam engine, says the conductor Gabe. I kind of figured it was a Penzi whistle. My father heard similar whistles years ago. 
and I have recordings of uh, like the smaller engines, like the 060s and the 282s that had those shrill whistles. And today is a gorgeous October 3rd, pleasant. It's about 70 degrees. And today is Rosh Hashanah, a Jewish holiday. Now I just absolutely adore Jewish holidays, which might seem strange considering I'm an Irish Catholic, but driving out here from Long Island, there was no traffic. I drove through New York City like it didn't even exist. I knew that was gonna happen. Tell me when the next Jewish holiday is so I can take another drive off Long Island because driving through New York City's boroughs and traffic is a pain in the neck. For those who are celebrating the holiday today, I hope you have a very nice day. Wonderful day, good feasting. Oh, you hear that? You old time Pennsylvania Railroad steam buffs will probably, you know, cry, bring tears to your eyes listening to that. Now, if there's anyone out there who's got the CD or the record album called Rods, Wheels, and Whistles, part of the um, disc or record features Pennsylvania Railroad K4s for the most part, but there's one sequence where there's an 060 working on a local freight in New Egypt, New Jersey, and that engine has a horn that sounds exactly like this. Yeah, he's on his way to the crossing here. There have been sh shrill whistles on the Strasbourg. The 475 had one, but it wasn't as high pitched as this one is. That was like sort of a Norfolk and Western freight whistle that the 475 had. But there's so many whistles on this railroad, it's hard to keep track of them. Well, here he comes. Let's listen to this shrill banshee whistle. some more.
Well, I'm back by the Red Caboose Motel grade crossing. Um, I thought I could catch it by Espen Shades, but the train isn't going very fast, but the roads, you have to take kind of a long route to get to the main road to get to other access points. That's where you lose time. Drum get punctured. We're over by Espen Shades crossing now near a turkey farm. Very peaceful here. Looks like they had a good corn crop this summer. They're way above my knee. They say knee high on the 4th of July. Well, it's the beginning of October and they're taller than I am and I'm 6'3". Nice country house. This woman has at least five cats. Gorgeous day, a little humid for early October. It's about 73 degrees, but absolutely gorgeous day. I wouldn't exactly call it Indian summer since we really didn't have a frost yet. But I think this weekend in some places in Pennsylvania, they're going to get one. So here comes the 12 o'clock train out of Strasburg, approaching the Espen Shades Crossing. You can really hear that whistle far away. That echo I heard was better than any M7 echo I ever heard. This house by Espen Shades Crossing. I was wrong about the cat count here. I can account for at least 10 of them here. There's at least four or five of them by that vehicle. There's two more there on the stoop in front of those tools. And there's a couple in the front porch of the house. Strasburg.
couple up the engine for its one o'clock departure. Okay, here comes the one o'clock departure out of Strasbourg. All right, our venue has changed on this pleasant Thursday. We're now on the NS Harrisburg line at Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania, west of Reading a little ways. And right over there is one of my favorite places to eat, Jimmy G's Railroad House Restaurant. All right, 246 approaching eastbound NS train is 230. Runs out of Rutherford Yard east of Harrisburg to Morrisville. Union Pacific Auto Rack, that was the best looking one on the whole train. That figures. Finally got a train at 453. That was the H31 local out of Reading with unusual power. An SD40E leading. How about that? Well, I just had dinner at uh, Jimmy G's Railroad House. It's 20 to 6 now. NS really hasn't <laughs> run very much since I've been here about 2.30. That's when I arrived. I just saw a 2.30 and then a Model Eastbound 
and the westbound H31, which didn't do any work here. Apparently, he's going to do work maybe on the way back, but I won't be here when it returns. Beautiful day, but, you know, not much running on uh, Norfolk Southern thus far.